And we are live. But we are also on tape from One Bill's Drive in the tournament capital of Canada, Kamloops, with yet another edition of why the Bills will win this week, and they will. Now last year, as you surely will remember, I went fishing, and I caught Jay Cutler, and I called out Nicky Mack, and I called out Mike Innes, and the Bills beat the Dolphins twice, including once in week 17 to get the Bills into the playoffs. Andy Dalton plays the super! And now, it's Ryan Tannehill. No surprise here, he's nursing an injury again. And his career is hanging by a thread. He's a band-aid. If the Dolphins miss the playoffs, which they will, his career is over. I cannot wait for today, when the Bills go into Miami, the easiest place to win in the league, they get out their shovel and they start digging. Keep digging. And Josh Allen goes for 400 yards. And he hurdles five players. And they keep digging. Keep digging. As they dig that grave for Ryan Tannehill's career. Miami, or Hard Rock Stadium, whatever they want to call it these days, is the easiest place to play in the league. It's kind of like me going into Swiss Chalet with Mrs. Waggins. Family confines. We went this week. Birthday dinner for Mrs. Waggins. I paid, again. We got the Tuke and Dine deal, and we had a Toblerone for dessert. What have we learned so far this morning? Number one, Miami's a garbage team. Number two, the Bills are going to win 21-9. to and now it's time for a major announcement. And the music change. You've likely noticed Mr. Waggins' beard has been growing and growing and growing. I want to give somebody out there who's not a coward the opportunity to step forward. You put $100 on the line. Next week, if the Jets beat the Bills, I will shave my beard live on tape week after. But if the Bills beat the Jets, which they will, you send that $100 to me. It doesn't go to Mr. Wagons. I'm absolutely rich. It goes to the Christmas Children's Art Contest Fund. A few notes here. Points deducted. Which already sits at $250 thanks to donations from Luke Ford and Eileen Makepeace and me. The checkbook was out again. Anyway, somebody out there, oh, another text. Somebody out there who is not a coward, get off your wallet. If you have to combine with another family, do it 50 bucks each. Message Mr. Wag and say, hey, we'll put our money on the line. Don't be a coward, Agura. And now for our weekly call-out session, Joe Koliak. I know you were at the London pub last night. I know you were playing darts. You were running around like a chicken with its head cut off. But I'm calling you out. We're playing fantasy this week. And remember this, at the end of the day, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Sean Brady, no, 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 no. It's Chandelier. And Kelly Heath. And the music. I know changed. what you're doing at this very moment. You're already plotting your excuses for why your fantasy team is gonna lose this week. <laughs> Ryan Hudson, wake up. Tyler Wilson, out there, I know, in Monty Lake, chasing chickens around, tending to the goats. Piece it together, pal. Who else? Craig Poznikov. Posy. Lurking in the weeds. Hiding away in your North Van dream world, pal. I'm calling you out. And Drew St. Laurent. 
planning your work week next week, which means three with the babber and six games of tennis. Babber, mix in a work day. Tyler Bolt, the Calgary Chameleon, pick a team and stick with it. You can't just switch around willy-nilly. John Keane, you just turned 40. Ask me if I care. I don't. Wake up. Tim O'Donovan. Right now, you're on your phone watching this. Your legs are like this, crossed around in a non-human way because you're the Twiggy Alien Man. Okay? Look up in the sky. Find that clue. And won't you join me now? Is the bills of train that keeps on rolling, a baby. And the wagons continue to circle as those four and seven Buffalo Bills continue on that quest for 16. And oh, go Bills.